Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial. I used a new palette to me. This has been out for a while, but I only had bought the little, um, the little, like, Obsessions palettes that she launched not too long ago. And I really wanted to try out one of these bigger palettes. So I purchased the Desert Dust Palette by Huda Beauty and that is what I used on my eyes today with the exception of the yellow in the middle just because I wanted to, I don't know, do something different. I want to use this palette again in another video um, if you guys want me to using the purples because they are really pretty. Now, this is what the palette looks like. Yeah, um, I really like how this look turned out, and I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So, now let's get started on this makeup look. I'm going to start out with the color Eden. And excuse my nails, I have not gotten them done yet. So, this... Instagrammer was talking about how everyone asks her how she gets her eyeshadow to look so pigmented and she said that she just applies it directly onto the eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base, concealer, whatever and not a lot of people do that. I mean, I, I don't do that. Yesterday, I did, like, test it out, and it was, like, very, very pigmented that way. Of course, um, I think that the trick is just pressing the product in slowly. That way, it actually sets the base with the eyeshadow. So, as you can see, this color looks a lot more uh, true to the pan, and I don't know, I, I think I'm loving this technique. I don't know, I'm going to really, like, just practice it, uh, because I've noticed that when you take a picture, even if it's your phone or your camera, you lose a lot of that color and I have to like, you know, move, play with the saturation and the warmth and everything. So I'm hoping this is going to help. And yeah, so I really like how it looks. I love that color. So now I'm taking the color Desert Sand. And I'm going to apply the color Desert Sands onto the brow bone, and that just really helps with blending, especially, like I said, since I didn't set the uh, base. And I always do this. I always apply a skin tone color just right on the brow bone because it really helps with blending. Now I'm going to take the color Blazin. Now I'm going to just apply this color directly into the crease and not take it too far up. So I'm just going to keep building up the color. That 
that red shade is called saffron. So again, I'm just going to begin to uh, pack it onto the eye. So in the crease, so I wanted to, you know, be a little bit lower and kind of overlapping the other shade, the orange. So as you can see, first I concentrate it out. And then I bring I'm sorry it if I'm looking this way, but this is where my mirror is. So then I always like to go back in with my larger uh, blending brush and just further blend the top edges. Okay, so now I'm going to take this really tiny uh, flat concealer brush. So I'm going to cut the crease with this brush. So now that the crease is cut, I'm going to take a small uh, pencil brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this really uh, tiny brush. It's a dual ended brush by Dose of Colors. They actually came in my little um, eyeshadow palettes that I bought from Dose of Colors, like the Sassy Sienna's and what is it, Baked Browns. I really like this side. Uh, so, okay. We're going to begin to clean. So as you can see, that just makes it look overall more sharp and clean. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Blazin, which is the orange color, and I'm going to press it on right here. Press it on until I get that intensity that I want. So now I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow and since the Desert Dusk palette doesn't have it, I'm just going to take it from any random palette. All I need is a yellow, so I'm going to apply it right here to the center. And then I will blend the colors into each other. Alright, so now that I have the yellow, I'm going to further intensify the outer corner with the red, which is a saffron. So now I'm going to take a white color. This is by MAC and it is called Gesso. And I'm going to apply it to the inner part of the lid, just like I did on this eye. So that's what we're going to do.
So now I'm going to take the color Blazin, which is the orange, and run it along the bottom lash line. Alright, so now that I have my lashes on, I also applied uh, some bronzer. I applied the Butter Bronzer, the really neutral looking one uh, mixed in with MAC Give Me Sun. But I'll show you guys uh, in another video, like kind of like my current go-to favorites. So I'm going to be taking this blush by Inglot which I actually had inside a C palette and this is the AMC blush in number 68. I don't know why I bought this bright blush but whatever we'll just use this one. I really don't think I've ever used this blush but I want to see how it looks like just very lightly. Looks nice. It transfers on very lightly as like a light coral. Alright, so for my highlight, I'm going to be using Opal by Becca. Alright, so... Now for my lips. Alright, so I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Beige. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one. I think it would look really nice with the eyes. Oh, and it is called A Girl's Got Needs. It's like a... Like a beige nude. But I definitely want to spray my face with the Fix Plus in Gold Lights, just a little bit. If you like this makeup, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue filming more tutorials. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!